1981, and now I'm starting to shoot for some record companies, publicity photo shoots, and this is my very first one. I've been asked to shoot U2, and I've never done a legitimate band photo before. Um, I'm very nervous, and I live in a little tiny studio, 325 square feet, the dark room's in the shower, and they're coming to my house. <laughs> Fortunately, no one had to shower, which was good, but, and it's dark outside, it's not a bright day, and I realize I can't use daylight, and I know that to this day, I suck at on-camera flash, and I'm panicking, what am I gonna do? So, I think about it for a minute, and there's a hardware store three doors down from where I live in the village, and I go in, and I buy a painter's silver reflector, you know, when we need a little extra light when on a project, and I buy a 100-watt bulb, and that's how I shot it. But what I love about it is it isn't really the equipment that takes the pictures. And it's about, well, it's obviously about getting the right exposure, but it's about your connection and your sensitivity to light, to the subject. And for me, it's about a certain simplicity as well. So what I love about this group of photos is the, the naivete of both myself and the band, and both of us were just starting off, and, and you can see by his poses. I mean, you know, I had to get permission to use this for the book, and um, because it had been a publicity photo shoot, which one doesn't retain the rights to uh, in those days. So um, evidently, when I, the permission came back from management, they said that he got a good laugh when he looked at him. <laughs> <laughs> 